Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you the best work from home jobs for moms that pay well. I'm a stay at home mama too, I've got one on the way, and I'm making more money now than I ever did at my corporate job. I also interviewed several other work from home moms that are doing very well. So today I'm gonna show you what I do, the moms I interviewed, how to get started, and most importantly, how much you can earn. So hit that like button and let's get started. website tried and true mom jobs for moms like myself looking for legitimate ways to make money from home with kids. I reached out to work from home moms because I wanted to know what my realistic options were. What could I really do at home with kids and make money? So that's what I'm going to show you today. 11 of the best work from home jobs for moms that pay well. And during this video, let's interact. Let's, I don't want it to be just me. Make sure you let me know in the comment section which jobs you think will work best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. And let you know, um, first we're going to go over the jobs for the moms that I interview. And then make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to show you what I do and how I'm able to make over $5,000 per month with my two kids at home. The first work from home job for moms that I recommend is freelance writing. So as a freelance writer, you obviously want to be someone who enjoys to write. So if that's you, you should really consider this as a way to make money from home with kids because it's so flexible because you work around your own schedule as long as you can meet your deadlines. Now you can make a lot of money doing this. I know this because I interviewed Holly Johnson and she makes, get this, over $200,000 per year as a freelance writer. I didn't even know freelance could make, I mean writers could make that much money. But apparently you can. So I asked Holly, okay, but as a beginner, how much do you think you could, um, someone could typically earn? And she says she finds it hard for you not to earn at least forty to $50,000 per year as a freelance writer. So then the next question is, how do you get started? Well, Holly built this free workshop that you can take to help you understand how to build a six-figure writing career. So I highly recommend just checking that out so you have a full understanding on how to uh, make money writing. And check out my interview with her because it was, it's a really great interview to show you really what freelance writing is all about, how to get started, how Holly was able to do it, and then how you can too. So the interview that I did with her is going to be in the description below. It's in an article on stay-at-home mom jobs. And just so you know, all the tools and resources and the interviews that I did will all be in this article, stay-at-home mom jobs. So you can access everything I'm talking about in the article, stay-at-home mom jobs, in the description. The list is becoming a virtual bookkeeper. Now, bookkeepers, they record financial transactions for small business owners. And this is a great job for moms because I interviewed two stay-at-home moms to do this, and they are doing very well. And one of the moms I interviewed has nine kids homeschools six of them and she still earns over two thousand dollars per month as a bookkeeper so this is why i say if she can do it anyone can do it and so the way they got started is that they took this course called the business bookkeepers launch course and it taught them everything they needed to know about how to become a bookkeeper and how to build their own business now this course has this free class that you can take to see if bookkeeping is really right for you so if you're interested in doing something like this i highly recommend taking the free class because it really goes in detail about what bookkeeping really is and how you can get started and it really helps you to uh, decide whether this is the right path for you or not. And it's a great interview if you want to check out the interview that I did with stay-at-home moms on how to become a bookkeeper and how they're able to do it with their kids. It's, a, it's amazing that you can make this much money. And now the course also teaches you how to charge $60 per hour. So if you're interested in bookkeeping, I highly recommend checking out the article and the class to really understand what bookkeeping is really all about and how you can get started. Next on the list is becoming a proofreader. So do you often spot errors when reading? Do you cringe when you see those spelling errors or grammar mistakes? If so, you should really consider proofreading. Proofreaders are needed. I know because I use one myself. I interviewed Caitlin Powell who does this and she made $43,000 while studying abroad part-time proofreading on the side. So it's a great way to make money to do, especially with kids, because you work around your own schedule as long as you can meet your deadlines. If you're interested in becoming a proofreader, I highly recommend checking out my interview with Caitlin because it goes really in depth about what proofreading is, how to get started, and how you can really make money doing this. Now, I often see proofreaders are making from $1,000 per month all the way to $4,000 per month. So it's a great way to make money from home with kids. Next on the list is becoming a transcriber. So how well are your typing skills? 
If you can type, you should really consider this as a way to make money from home. Now what transcribers do is that they record what they hear from audio files, so audio recordings. They're basically typing what they hear. Now I interviewed a stay-at-home mom who does this while homeschooling her son, and she's able to build a business doing this on the side. Now in that interview, that if you want to check it out if you're interested in transcribing, I also have a list of the top companies that are hiring transcribers, and you can make as little as $7 per hour up to $21 per hour. So it's definitely a way to make money from home with kids because you can work around your own schedule as long as you can meet your deadline. Next on the list is teaching English online. Now basically what this is that you can teach kids in China how to speak English from the comfort of your own home when your kids are asleep. And basically you're able to do this because of the time difference in China. You're either working early mornings or late at night. And the requirements for this job is that you either have to have or you have to have the following. You have to have a bachelor's degree in any subject, but you have to have a bachelor's degree. It doesn't have to be in teaching. You have to be a resident of the United States or Canada, and you also have to have at least one year of teaching experience. Now, they're very lenient on the teaching experience. Um, that could be anything from mentoring, tutoring. If you go to church and you help out in the children's department, that's also a form of teaching experience, and that's acceptable. So if you meet those requirements, I highly recommend this as a great way to make money from home with kids because I interviewed a stay-at-home mom who does this, or two stay-at-home moms. One of them works for VIP Kid, and she makes up to $1,700 per month doing this with, for only two hours per day. I interviewed another mom who does this for Magic Ears, a very similar company, and she makes over $3,000 per month. So this is a great way to make a nice amount of money from home with your kids at home. And the great thing about this is that they already provide the lesson plans for you. So you're basically just teaching what they have already prepared for you. So if you're interested in becoming um, in teaching English online, I highly recommend checking out the companies that I have listed that are hiring. And you can even check out the interviews with the moms that I did to really understand how they're able to do it at home with their kids. The next job on the list is becoming a freelancer. Now this is such a great job for moms because you're really working on your own terms. And the list of things that you can do as a freelancer, it's, um, it's a lot. It's a lot of things you can do as a freelancer, but the most popular are becoming a virtual assistant, a graphic designer, a social media manager, a design tech, and the list goes on and on. So if you want to get started into freelancing, I highly recommend checking out the interview I did with Michaela Quinn, who is basically known as the freelance queen. And it's an article on everything you need to know about freelancing, the things you can do, how to get started, how much you can charge, and typically the amount that you can earn is anywhere from $25 per hour up to $100 per hour. So you can really make a lot of money doing this on the side with your kids on your own terms. Next on the list, you can resell products on Amazon for a profit using their FBA program. Now what this is is basically that you can shop in the clearance section looking for products at a discount so you can resell them on Amazon for a profit. Now I know you can make a lot of money doing this because my sister does this. She, does, she started doing this after she read my interview with Jessica from The Selling Family. She took her free email course and now she's making over $2,000 per month on the side while working at a full-time job. So I know that this can be done and I know that this is a great job for moms because you're really working around your own schedule and you can do this with your kids. Now Jessica, who I interviewed, she was able to build a six-figure business doing this with her family and she, her husband actually was able to quit his job and come work with her because she was doing so well. So if you're interested in, be, um, in learning more about this, I had a great interview with her, so I highly recommend to check it out and to also check out her free email series that my sister took. And it teaches you how to sell success, successfully on Amazon. Next on the list, you can flip products at flea markets or thrift stores for a profit. So if you enjoy going to thrift stores and flea markets, this is right up your alley. Parents Rob and Melissa do this part-time with their kids and they've been able to build a six-figure business. And they say you don't even need a lot of money to get started. You can take $20 to $50 to go to the thrift stores or flea markets to purchase products and resell them on websites like eBay for a profit of $100 to $300. You take that money and you just do it over and over again. So if you want to learn how to get started, Rob and Melissa created this free workshop and for how you can turn this into a profitable business in as little as 14 days. So I highly recommend, if this is something that you're interested in, to check out the free workshop. Next on the list, we have a property preservation contractor. Now, I didn't even know what this was at a little over a year ago until I went to this conference and I was standing in line and I met this woman where we were just talking about what we do. And she told me that she was in real estate, but she doesn't buy or sell anything. So then I was like, okay, then what do you do? And she told me that she was a property preservation contractor. And she explained it like this. 
If you look around different neighborhoods, there are abandoned, abandoned houses that are in need of upkeep and maintenance in order for the banks to sell it. Now, these houses are usually foreclosed or in the foreclosure process, and banks want to be able to sell these houses, so they don't, but they don't like to manage real estate. So they outsource these services to preservation contractors. So basically, as a preservation contractor, you are just preserving the house until the bank can sell it. So this is just a minor upkeep of the house, like doing the lawn and stuff like that. Just keep maintaining the house so the bank can sell it. It does not include any major renovations or anything like that. Now, as a property preservation, I asked Danielle, how much can you make doing this? And she says that she finds it very feasible for you to earn at least $100,000 in as little as 18 months. So then I asked her, how much do you make doing this? And she says that she earns over $400,000 doing this while homeschooling her three kids and she outsources 100% of the work and only does the admin work at home. So I was just like dumbfounded. This is a great job for moms and it's really one of the most recommended jobs for moms that if you want to do this, if you want to make a lot of money. It's definitely something you can do part time with your kids because she's doing it while homeschooling her kids. So I highly recommend this as a great job for moms that are interested in getting into the real estate field or if you just want to make money from home. Um, I highly recommend checking out my interview with Danielle because it goes more in depth about what this really is and how you can get started. Next on the list, you can sell printables on Etsy. Now what this is is that you can make a printable once and sell it over and over and over again. It's a great form of passive income and a great way to make money from home with kids because you get to really be there with your kids and make money at the same time. I interviewed Julie who does this and she's a stay at home mom and makes over $5,000 doing this on the side. So if you're interested in, in this, I highly recommend checking out the interview in the article, uh, Stay at Home Mom Jobs, because she also has a free ebook that she's given away on 25 of the most profitable printables. So um, another thing about this is that it's so great, you don't even have to be a graphic designer. If you just have a little create, if you are a little creative, this is something that you should really consider because it's such a great form of passive income and a way to make money. Now I asked Julie, how much can you make doing this? And she says on average, she can, you can expect to earn $500 to $1,000 per month. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend checking out the interview for more information. Last but not least, I want to talk about what I do, and that is blogging. I started a blog, and that is how I make money from home with my kids, and it's a great form of passive income once you get started. It does take work because my first year starting my blog, I only made $5,000. But then the next year, I earned, over si I, I earned six figures with my blog. I can't even believe it. So if you really understand how what you're doing and how you can do it, you can make a lot of money. So basically this is what you have to do. You have to figure out how you can help people, how you can help solve their problems. You have to figure out what questions they're asking and you want to be able to solve their problems in an article format. Now I've been able to figure out how to get my articles to rank on Google. And because everybody and their mama is always searching for things on Google, um, and, and because I have so many articles that are, are ranking on Google, I'm always getting traffic to my website. So I'm always making money through ads and affiliate marketing. Now I'll go in very detail, um, in great detail on how I'm able to make money in my article, how to make money blogging. And I give examples of how I do it and how um, I'm able to make money. So I highly recommend if you're interested in blogging and just to figure out how I, I'm able to do it, check out that article because it's such a great way to make money from home with kids, especially if you put in the hard work. It's not for everyone, but it's just, if you would just put in the work, you can make more money than you ever dream per month. So I highly recommend just checking out that article and just for an example on how I make money through ads. If you just read one of my articles and you pass an ad when you're reading one of those articles, that's known as an impression. And just for you reading my article, I'm not selling you anything, but just from reading it, I'm making money. And that's in form of passive income through ads. And another example that I make money, um, I make even more money through affiliate marketing. And that's basically if I refer a product or service to someone and they purchase that product using my referral link, I earn a commission. So that's basically in a nutshell how it works. And I give more examples in my articles just, just so it can make more sense. But that's how I make money blogging and I highly recommend to get started. And uh, if you are interested, interested to get started, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to start doing videos on how I'm able to make money blogging, how I write my articles, how I write my articles to rank on the first page of Google, 
Um, so I highly recommend just subscribing to my channel because I'm going to continue to post videos to help you become successful just as, as I've been able to do it because um, no one was able there really to help me do it and I want to be able to help others now that I know what I'm doing. So uh, make sure you subscribe and that's it. So those are the 11 work from home jobs for moms that I recommend and they all pay pretty well. So I hope you really enjoyed this list and I would love for you to share it with other moms. Share it with just everyone because honestly these jobs are not just for moms. Anyone could do these jobs but what makes it so great is that the income, the the work is so flexible that you can do this at home with kids. So I would love it if you would just comment too and let me know which job you think is the best for you. And um, definitely subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications when I uh, post a new video because I'm going to continue to do these to really help people understand how they can make money from home with kids and how I make money blogging and how you can too. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day.